Good morning, put that smile upon your face, sun is shining. Good on the way to God. Pastor Bruce. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We back. We back. Pastor Gamage here. Pastor Bruce. Little country. Big country. And I must say, talk to you me. You are looking good. What can I say, baby? Yes, sir. What can I say? I'm a proud Eagles fan. Yes, huh? sir. Yes, now, sir. now, shout out to all my Eagles fans. Now, wait, can we say we, we don't what, what do we say when we're addressing each other in the streets? Can I say eaglets? No, no, not eaglets. Eagles fan, see, that holds its own. Okay. It's Power. Wow. Remember the scripture we talked about yesterday? Talk to me. Yeah, when, 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 you, when you're feeling weak, when you're feeling a little low, mm. you know, the word says that your strength will be renewed like eagles. See how much power that is? You mm. see how much power that is? Mm. Mm -hmm. I felt that. Yes, indeed. Matter of fact, now, this week we've been talking about bandwagon jumpers, right? Bandwagon, corner hoppers. Last week, I caught wind of a, count, uh, a, a corner hopper. Oh. Pastor Greg. Uh-oh. Last week, he said something about uh, banana and mayo being struggle food. Banana and mayo. That what he, struggle food. That's what he said. That seemed like it's easy to eat. Well, it, it's always easy for me to eat it. I love it. It seems like peanut butter, you struggle with peanut butter. But not. How many of y'all have ever had a mayo and banana sandwich on white bread, huh? Where what, you have to squeeze what, it what like that? that. Yeah, you squeeze it and you just bite like a hot dog almost. Tighten up. <laughs> Try Try up. Up. Listen, nine seconds. Nine seconds. I counted. Nine seconds after Pastor Greg said struggle food, he then turned around and said, you know, you know, I I I like a good mayo and no, banana. He I ain't gonna lie, I actually do like a little banana with the mayo and a little bit of sugar on top. But don't tell nobody, don't tell nobody. Just flip flop. Flip flop. Now I got a feeling he flip flop because his counterpart that day was a little bougie. Oh, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, Pastor Lamar? We sure didn't. <laughs> there were no bougie people in the chat yesterday. Huh? That was superheroes. That dynamic duo, Pass Lamar? The tights. The, oh, the tights. The tights. That's right. Superheroes. <laughs> superheroes. Listen, speaking of tights. Speaking of them. <laughs> Pastor Greg said he didn't like tight pants. That's what he said. I've counted the change in his pants before. Ching -a -lang -lang, ching -a -lang -lang. How much did you count? So tight, I think I can feel he pretty shots. much walks around with a standard 115 in his pocket. 115. A dollar and 15 cent in coins. In Pastor Greg, if you listen this morning, if you're looking at this, I don't know if you're going to hit the chat or whatever, but can I borrow 75 of that? I don't need 75 cent. That's all. <laughs> Please. Hey. Ladies and gentlemen, today, since we're talking about flip flopping, since we're talking about bandwagon people, Pastor Bruce, earlier you and I were talking about naming. Yes, we were. Can you share with the people something about naming? Just, just hit them a little bit. One of the master flip flopping. Here's a guy. Let me read it. We're going to start in verse 9. Second Kings. Mm -hmm. uh, what script? What, what book was that? Oh, man. I can't Second get off the top. Five. Chapter five. five. There it is. Chapter 5. Chapter 5. There we go. Starting at verse 9. It says, So Naaman, with his horses and chariots, arrived in style. He came in style, y'all. What? He was in his Bentley and stopped at Elisha's door, the prophet's door. Elisha sent out his servant to meet him with his message. He told him to go to the River Jordan and immerse yourself seven times. Now, look, backstory with that, the boy had a skin disease. He did. He was asking for help. He went over there to help. He expected the help to come how he, he wanted, wanted it. Exactly, the way he wanted That's to. That's true. And he got upset when the prophet told him something different. Pastor Bruce, how often do individuals ban wagon jump or flip the script when they don't get it the way they wanted to get it? Well, I don't know how often, but this guy flipped because when wow. he got healed, he now became a believer. Get out of here. Yes, indeed. So you're telling me, now that's y'all homework, 2 Kings chapter 5. You got to go read that account of Naaman and how Elijah dealt with him and that whole thing. But in summary, what we're saying is you could flip and come back. Yeah, you can. Yeah, you can. And we'll get to that, get to that a little further this week. Okay. You know, because okay to come back. We call it repentance. Interesting. Yes, repentance. Ladies and gentlemen, it ain't over. It ain't over. Until God said it's oh, over. Oh, mm. 
Yeah. Yeah. It ain't over. Yeah. And I can't. I can't. I can't. Yeah, you can. You Until God said it's done. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Ladies and gentlemen, big country here. Big country. Wait, wait. I think vice versa. Bye. Little country here. Big country here. We love y'all. It is a good day to have a good day. And don't forget, get in the gym. Y'all remember that? Yeah. Get in the gym. God's yoke of ministry. Go get in that thing. We love y'all. See you soon. <laughs>